Flowers are one of the most beautiful things in the world people have ever seen. Humans have been mystified by them since the dawn of time. Artists can never say they've never painted a flower, either when they're a child or when they're an adult, in their artist's career. Today I'm going to show you how to plan out and paint a flower. So the things that you will need is a canvas, a pencil, paint brushes, and paint. I use acrylic paint, so, uh, but you can use any other paint you want, like watercolor, um, oil paints, but the easiest thing I work with is acrylic. So first we're going to do is we're going to plan out what flower, plan out how we're going to draw, paint the flower. Um, I recommend doing this because it makes it easier as you go along as you, when you're painting. You can paint any flower that you really want. Um, you can use it from your imagination or just look up a ref reference picture. I am just painting a flower that I always like to draw on papers when I'm bored and on my skin when I was younger. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty rough sketch of what I am going to do. I know it's not very big, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, but um, it doesn't have to be exact. I might change it while I'm painting it. Um, so yeah, so first you're gonna find uh, colors that you wanna do with this, and I decided to do red. Um, so I'm be, gonna be using different shades of red to paint this flower, and then I'm also gonna be doing re green for the vines and leaves. So yeah. Um, it's best to plan out like what colors you might do and then pick from what you, they are. So, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to start off with is that the middle part of the flower is going to be like a gold, so I'm going to have to get some yellow. Ow. Ow. I should probably shake it up. In acrylic pink, you usually have to shake it up before you use it, or it'll turn into green, turn into slime like this one. So I'd recommend you don't. Just squirt it out right before you use it. So, yeah. Um, and I'd always get a cup of water because, um, you want to clean your brushes as much as possible so your colors don't actually mix together because that'd be a big mess. Ooh. So this is as far as I've gotten and painting is actually a very tedious job um, but it's actually worth it at what you get to the end. Um, but as you see I d did a transition between the petals which will add texture and difference in them, but you don't have to do that if you don't feel like it. I just wanted to make it so you can tell the petals different from each other better. Um, so uh, it's better to keep your mind on one thing at a time. So usually I would do the petals first and then I'll do the vines. And then the last thing I'll worry about is actually signing my name. Um, and plans always change from what you first think of because you can see I've added more colors to my dish of colors. <laughs> um, but just be patient with your paint and see how it works out. And that will give you the best outcome, honestly. So I am almost done with the petals. I'm just adding the middle part to add the texture to them. Um, and after I am done painting the petals, I am going to move on forward to the vines, which are going to be green, of course, because vines are always green. Um, and after that, you can just, I'm just going to sign my work, and then I'll be done. So yeah. And I'll remind you, you don't have to do like the exact flower I'm doing if you ever want to paint one. 
you can just look up pictures of them have like a reference source or just think of think up of any weird flower that comes into mind it doesn't even have to be real like there's plenty of sci-fi flowers and magical flowers that you could just paint for fun and they could turn out really cool and you don't actually have to be very skilled to paint a flower because all you have to do is draw petals and then paint color in them and you can add color different colors in them if you want if you don't feel like you're that skilled then you don't have to but yeah so as you're painting um you can think of ways to make it better like you can see i instead of just having these one this one long vine going through the flower i decided to add vines coming off of it because I wanted to add more to the white space that it has. Um, and also, I've decided um, when I was painting the flower that I should add some different colors and textures in it so that it looked different and you could tell individual petals from each other. And so everything won't clash together. As you can see, I'm almost done with my painting. I just have to add some final touches with the leaves in the vine, like lines going up through the middle with darker colors. Um, and it's always good to make sure your paintbrush isn't that wet, because if it does, the colors don't really show up very much. And make sure the paint on the canvas isn't actually that wet, because they will also blend that way as well. Um, but in art, the main, mainly the one real key is just to have fun with it and change is not a bad thing and developing as you painting, as you're painting also isn't and changing everything around to make it what you think is look better. And also big thing with artists is they can get highly criticism. Yeah, and um, just to ignore it and do your own thing because in the end if you just do that it's so much fun so I'm just going to finish up these last few leaves um, and then I'm going to sign it so um, I'm going to sign it with black paint, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because it can get really big and blocky, but I don't really have anything else to sign it with. Um, but if you want to buy like um, paint brush pens or something like that, you can use those to sign it and it'll be more precise than using a paintbrush because like a pencil with paint inside of it. So what you can do is you can just sign your initials, you can sign your full name, just do whatever you want. And you can make it fancy. I'm just going to be sending my initials. Because that's the easiest thing to do. Because my name's really long. also better to get better paint brushes than I have um, but you can always get this all your paint brushes and stuff and art paints and any other art tools that you like to do at um, art stores um, regular stores because also if you just want to paint for fun and it, you don't really care what you don't really want people to see it you can just get like crappy stuff because if you're just, it's because it's also cheaper. But I have nice paints and nice paint brushes. I just don't have the nice paint brushes with good sizes. So this is the final project of my flower. 
And I hope you guys t use this advice to help you become a better artist and to improve. Um, you can see I don't really tell you about how to paint exactly how you're going to paint the flower. I just give you hint ideas and um, ideas and ways that can help you plan out how you do it because everybody's a different artist and they have different ways to paint, they have different styles and this is just my style and I'm doing more realistic or um, you could say